Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're addressing the various parables of Jesus, which are contained in the Gospels. And this week, the parable of the fisherman's net from the Gospel of Matthew. This is another short parable covering common themes of Jesus when discussing heaven, so let's take a look. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like to a net cast into the sea, and gathering together all kinds of fishes. Matthew 13.47 Everyone dies eventually, and so everyone gets caught up in that net of God. However, just because God has you in a net doesn't mean you're staying. This imagery would be very familiar to the Jews, since fishing was a common trade in the Jerusalem area. In fact, several of the apostles used to be fishermen. Which, when it was filled, they drew out, and sitting by the shore, they chose out the good into vessels, but the bad they cast forth. Matthew 13.48 some fish are good to eat, and others aren't. Some, like pufferfish, are poisonous, while others have venomous spines, like lionfish, or a terrible flavor that's hard to disguise and therefore wouldn't be good for selling. Those fish generally get thrown back once the catch is all done. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall go out and shall separate the wicked from among the just. Matthew 13.49 In the same way, evil and impenitent people are separated from the faithful by the angels at the end of the world. The most obvious question about this is, who gets taken by the angels, the good or the evil? The answer is found in the 24th chapter of Matthew. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, even till that day in which Noah entered into the ark, and they knew not, till the flood came and took them all away. So also shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Matthew 24, 38-39 Jesus compares the taking away by the angels to the flood waters, taking away the evil people who mock Noah. So the answer is, it will be the evil people who the angels take away. The faithful won't be. And shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13.50 A definitive action to protect the faithful from the evil. The faithful have a future worth looking forward to, but the impenitent don't. They've chosen not to cooperate with God's plan for heaven, so he leaves them out of it. All of our choices have consequences, and it's important to always keep that in mind. Next, the budding fig tree. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.